Hello everyone, here's Inspo Crypto. Welcome to my first tutorial video on YouTube where I'm going to show you how to connect the CoinMarketCap API with Excel. So before we start to connect the CoinMarketCap API with Excel, we need to generate an API key. For that, an account on CoinMarketCap is required so we have to sign up an account first so let us check what pricing plan is coin market cap offering first of all we have the basic one that's for personal use no subscription required and it's free it doesn't cost anything 10k call credits per month it's okay for the beginning and even if you want to check your formulas um, related to the API data, it makes sense to test all these with a free account. But later on, if you want to refresh your data, for example, every 10 minutes, you need more call credits. I'm spending 23 call credits every 10 minutes for all my API data. So I'm spending this 29 bucks per month and you get this 40k call credit. That should be enough, but it's up to you. You can check the pricing plan for yourself and make your decision. So what we need to set up the connection between CoinMarketCap API and Excel. First of all, we need the API key that we are getting after we sign up the account. But we also need the header to introduce our API key. And the most important thing that we also need is actually the API URL. It depends of what kind of data you want to request. If, for example, you have just a portfolio of five coins, it doesn't make sense to request the data for all 5,000 coins on CoinMarketCap, right? In my case, as I have a big portfolio, I'm just requesting everything. But that's not necessary if you really just have few coins right there. So take a look to the CoinMarketCap developers documentation because you have their different strings and endpoint categories to get exactly what you're really looking for. But in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to get everything. So in that case, that means I'm getting the whole data, quotes, volume, market cap, and also ranking for almost 5,000 coins. After you have signed up an account on CoinMarketCap, you will see the overview where you can see the last 100 API request, but at the same time your API key as well. So in this case here, I just uh, sign up for this tutorial, a basic account. You can see you have 333 credits today for the whole month you have this 10,000 and you will notice that that's really low. But let us go and generate a new key. You can copy this one. And as next we need the header. As I mentioned this before, you can find the header directly on the developer's documentation. And we need the API URL. Before we go forward 
and we connect the Coin Market Cap API with Excel. I would like to show you how this data is, yeah, well, looks like in Excel. Um, that's my Excel sheet here, and that's what I'm getting from Coin Market Cap API currently. But I have noticed as well that they um, introduced more data to the API. So that's something that I have to adjust in my Excel sheet yet. But just to give you an overview, for example, I'm getting here the full coin name, the symbol, the current price of the token, the volume within 24 hours, the price change within one hour in percent, the same within 24 hours, the same within 7 days and 30 days, and the market cap. As mentioned, they introduced more information, they added more information to the API data. And that's something I think we can take a look afterwards. Just to make clear, this data serves only as the basis for my formulas in Excel. My formulas give me the opportunity to, to recognize certain patterns in the market. So that is really very important to understand this. I will make another tutorial later on where I will show you what kind of formulas I'm using to detect some patterns for example, or just to get a very good overview about some market trends. Now we are going to connect our CoinMarketCap API with our Excel sheet. We need the API URL, as mentioned, the header and the API key after we sign up our account. So let us start just pressing data and from the web. A pop-up window should appear now. It takes a little bit from the web and we use the expand one. And we have here to introduce our URL here, this field to introduce our header, and this field here is to introduce our API key, and that's what we are going to do now. So, that's my URL with almost 5000 coins, and we need here the header, and we need our API key right now there. I wouldn't recommend to use mine because <laughs> I'm going to deactivate this one afterwards anyway. Just to mention this. <laughs> we wait a little bit. It's going to connect to the API now. It's just telling me it's initiating a connection now. and another window should appear next. Perfect. That's our Power Query Editor. Now we have two objects, status and data. Uh, in data you have a list with all coins and all related information that we are requesting. If we press with the right mouse button and press Execute Drill Down, it's going to expand the whole data right there, so uh, we don't need to check this now. We go right there to table, and one column should appear. We confirm that, yeah, we want to do that, and the column is right there. If we press here the right corner in the top, 
you have here all information you can select. So we have the ID, that's an internal coin market cap ID. We don't need that. We don't need the slug, it's enough if we have the name and symbol. If you are interested to know how many market pairs this coin has, you can go, you can let this select it. Uh, I don't care. Even I don't care when this coin was added to the coin market cap database. I don't care about tax. I don't well platform could be something interesting. Last update, yeah, it's okay. Um I see we have to load everything, so we press here to load more. Now I have to deselect all this again. And um, date added text, I don't care. Okay, that should be enough. We confirm with OK and all columns should appear now, except the quote. I don't know why this happens, it doesn't matter. We go again to the top corner, press, say, please load everything. Confirm with OK, go again to the top corner. And you will see now every information, every column that CoinMarketCap is offering. So we have the current price of the token, we have the volume within 24 hours, and we have the price change within 1 hour to 90 days. Actually, uh, 60 days and 90 days is something they added afterwards, and uh, yeah, that's amazing, that's great making uh, the Excel sheet much interesting and the market cap so we just confirm that pressing OK this columns is going to appear here and we need to make the last step just to say close and load so that's going that's what we are going to do now it takes a little bit and that's it. Now we have all columns that we have selected before. So you can see the name, the symbol, the supply. That's also added afterwards. Uh, the coin market cap rank. That's interesting in terms of detecting possible candidates for pump and dump groups, for example. I can tell you more about the patterns of pump and dump coins, but um, that should be a different story. So afterwards, if you are interested, just drop me a line. I can make such a tutorial video as well. We have the current price, as mentioned, and we have the price change in different um, yeah, periods, and we have the market cap, and also telling us the last update of the quote. And that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick and dirty video, and as mentioned, if you have any, inf any, any question, uh, I'm busy, I'm not going to ignore anything, any comment and so on, but sometimes it takes a little bit. So community, if you can help and support all other guys, um, yeah, that would be very helpful for me. Give me feedback, retweet or spread this video, that would be absolutely kind. And thank you very much, sorry. Uh, if I'm spelling something wrong, if uh, I'm <laughs> taking a little bit more time to explain something, as I'm not a native speaker. But yeah, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Your Info Crypto. Bye bye.